Hello friends, I am Neera Sharma, Assistant Professor, Biani Group of Colleges in IT Department. On behalf of Guru KPO, I am presenting on Core Java uh, topic. Uh, what is Java basically? Uh, first of all, we should know about that Java is a platform independent language. Platform independent means it uh, it not dependent on particular operating system. We can say that uh, it can be run in particular uh, like uh, Windows operating system on uh, Unix, Linux, on Macintosh, in any kind of operating system it can be run. So we can say that it developed the desktop application and window based application in particular uh, using of Java uh, technology. So uh, basically it uh, has the program which can be run uh, in two steps. So first of all, uh, in first step it can be compile the program and in second step it have the running the program. We know that uh, we have in a compile the program. So for compiling the program, first we have to be write this command Java C and file name and dot Java. Java dot Java is the extension basically when we uh, save any file Java file uh, onto a particular location. So we can say that uh, if, uh, for example, uh, if we are taking some class like uh, one class is demo class. So let's consider that uh, we have taking uh, a class. It is called demo. So in this uh, demo class, we have the public static void main. So public static void main is uh, basically a method or a function where we can enter uh, in a program. So uh, public means it is a global. Uh, we can access. Uh, uh, the program in any any uh, location at any location we can say that it's not restricted public means globally access so uh, in static means uh, we can access uh, at the class level the program can be accessed into the class level so void is using for uh, no return type and the main is the name of the function so uh, this function is be uh, compiled after when we load the class so class will be load and after that uh, this pr uh, program will be execute so uh, java c demo dot java it will be the compile the program at it will create a class file which is having some byte code after compiling this program it will be create a java class file so class file will be a platform independent file and it will be execute on any platform on on any operating system so we can say that uh, java c demo dot java will be create a class file dot class file so uh, demo dot class will be created on a particular location and uh, this uh, demo dot class will be executed so uh, this is the basically platform independent language uh, uh, that's why because we can say that uh, demo dot class can be run on any platform so uh, bytecode will be generated and bytecode will be uh, the combination of uh, we can say that uh, machine code plus uh, human readable form so human readable programming code plus machine code both of code will be uh, include into particular byte code. After compiling the program, we have to be run the program because uh, after compilation, we will get only the class file, not uh, the executable file. So, uh, for getting the executable file, we have to be run it. So, we have the command Java and the file name and enter button, then will be click uh, when we will get the run the program. So, this is the basic uh, concept we can adopt uh, to particular execute a program into the Java. So, these are the steps. So, basically Java program is uh, having two type of uh, step uh, to execute a program. First of all, uh, we have to be compiled and after that we will be execute the program after creating the byte code. So, uh, before uh, creating the byte code, we can say that uh, we have to be set the uh, path uh, of a particular uh, Java file. So, uh, next of uh, we will be include in it. Uh, let's have a discussion about the set of path, how we can set the path for Java programs. So, before executing in uh, it into the particular class file, we have to be set the path of particular Java. So, uh, first of all, we have to be follow the step number one. Uh, first, search the Java file where we can uh, install uh, normally. Uh, we install in C program file Java, JDK and bin. This is the basic path we can get it for, uh, to install the Java. So uh, we have to be go and copy the path and after that uh, follow the step number two, uh, return into the particular desktop uh, file and on that right click uh, on particular my computer icon and then you will get the environment variable options will be there. And after that, you will get the path and value. Two text boxes will be there. So first of all, you have to be write the path on a part particular path file. And in value, you have to be uh, uh, paste the particular location which you already copied from here. So this uh, whole path will be ex uh, copied and uh, will be executed into the particular value file. So it will be set the path and uh, click on particular OK button after that. 
so it will set the path permanently so basically we have the path two type of path we have to be set so first of all if we want to be uh, set the path with command prompt we have to be uh, to uh, follow the commands particular commands to set the path uh, but it is not permanently basically so uh, if we will uh, uh, we can say that if we will uh, close the window so on that time the path will be automatically erased so after that if we want to have the uh, particular permanent path so on that time we have to be go with the this particular step let's, uh, let's have a, another important discussion on uh, package topic so this is the basic uh, topic we can say in uh, include in core java so package is what uh, basically package is a collection of java files we can say that uh, number of java files we can collect and we can have uh, uh, we can arrange it uh, in a particular systematic way or in an organized way we can say uh, to execute a package we have to be follow the particular command so this command we have to be follow uh, first of all we have to write the java space minus d minus d is used for uh, directory and then after that uh, file name dot java so this command we have to be used to uh, automatically it will create the folder uh, and one class file automatically will be inserted into in it so we can say that uh, this is the basic command uh, for uh, compile the java package so after that we have to be run a package so uh, first of all we have to be go first uh, to the location on a package and after that we will execute this command package and slash and file name and enter button friends thanks for watching this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and visit our website gurukpo.com thank you so much thank you very much